The Black Archive Museum inducted Stephen Holden Reed into the Archives Hall of Fame Wednesday evening. Steve was honored for his many selfless acts of caring and looking after the needs of people within the community. KQ2's Courtney Rowe has more on that event. The Black Archives Museum inducted Steve Holden Reed into the Black Archives Hall of Fame for his continuous dedication to his community members, no matter the color of their skin, economic status, age, or gender. Well, Steve has just done um, some amazing things in our community. He's been really involved with the Bartlett Center, the NAACP, several of our local schools, um, helping out our youth, helping paint houses in the community. Um, you know, everybody just really attested to the fact that Mr. Holden Reed was the kind of guy that was never afraid to roll his sleeves up and help out. While induction ceremonies usually take place in the month of February each year, a special ceremony was set to honor Mr. Holden Reed right away after he'd been battling some health issues. Um, we had some committee members that really were strong advocates that um, he needed to be inducted and he needed to be inducted right now. Uh, Mr. Holden Reed's been having some health issues. They wanted to make sure and honor him um, right now. Holden Reed is the first white man to be inducted, and many feel as though he was the perfect person. Even though it says Black Archives Committee, that doesn't mean that everybody has to be black. Same thing about our Black Archives Wall of Fame. It didn't say that everybody that gets up there needs to be. No, it has a criteria of people who serve others, people who are out in the community and making a difference. That's, that's what it's all about. Holden Reed strived to be the friendly neighbor, and people, including Starr, think the world would be a better place if people tried to follow in Holden Reed's footsteps. If there was Steve's all around, wow, what a beautiful uh, earth, what a beautiful city, what, uh, just what a beautiful, beautiful time it would be. Reporting, Courtney Rowe, KQ2 News. The Black Archive Museum will be awarded a $35,000 grant to use for a Juneteenth celebration.